Hello there, my name is Anthony Barocas with Aiba Communications and today I want to tell you about a cool little case that I have found for your iPhones, not just the SE, not just the 5, but for the 6, the 7s, the 8s, that is very compact and lets you attach external lenses. <music> All right, well, now I have the SEs, I have a lot of SEs, and I really like the small form factor. I like the fact that um, they have the same size and shape as the 5 and 5S that I had before when I was using, uh, when I first started get into, getting into using uh, iOS devices for live, very compact live mobile streaming and production. And I got some myographer cases. I've got some um, other, you know, hardware for them. And I like the fact that the edges are flat. So that has helped it too. Um, but I have come across this one case searching on eBay. And this case right here, um, let me take that off. This case right here is available on multiple different sizes. And you can see it is like a glove case. Um, the case itself is available on all of these different models, including some Samsung models. And I wanted to take a chance to show this thing to you and how it actually works. I put it down somewhere. It's a black case and I can't see. Oh, here it is. <laughs> a black case with a black desk. Very hard to see. This is the case. So like I said, this is the SE case. You buy it specifically for the camera you're going to. It's not an ambidextrous case. Um, it's really cheap. I mean, the price on this thing is $16 and that includes shipping from China. So uh, it's you're not gonna find a cheaper case. But the key with this case is it lets you attach lenses. Now, it has a teeny little thread right here. You, you would not think that that would make much of a difference. Um, actually, let me cut to my handheld camera and see if I can get it to focus as close. Probably not. Well, okay, so you can't, there's a metal ring in there and the phone just slips in here like a glove. So here's the case and it's in. So now it's literally no bigger than the phone and you can see right there that the lens is centered in that hole and it comes with a lens for that $15. Now the key is this lens is a 0.45 super wide angle, whatever. And it has the same, I think 37 millimeter thread as iographer cases, B strip cases, you know, it's sort of like the standard. Um, it comes with a little macro, should you want to use a macro, but then it has the super wide angle on here. That would not work. The key with this case is this little adapter that I have not seen outside of this case. This little adapter is threaded on the inside to accept the 37 millimeter standard for adapter lenses and it has a little threaded thing that goes into this case. So I screw it in here very gently screw it in here and now you can see I've got this wonky thing attached to the front of my camera and then you take the lens once you get the threads to match up <laughs> it screws in there and voila now, this could be a 2X, this could be a 3X, this could be the 12X, this could be the 0.7, this could be whatever has 37 or 34, whatever the standard is, whatever has those standard size threads that would work on iographer, B script, anything else works on this. I, I have a whole set of lenses and I have these cases and I have iographer cases and everything works back and forth. That's the cool thing. So let's take a look at this shot now. And you can see this is the shot from the little camera you can see as I move it in ooh, I'm actually 
using the camera that's in this thing. So you can see it's got a little bit of bowing uh, on the edges and that is very typical with um, wide angle lenses. They call that uh, barrel distortion because it kind of looks like a barrel on the sides and on, on the top. So it's got that, that bowing that you see on a barrel. And this, but you can see there's no vignetting. This is all the way out. I can still zoom in and zoom out in the camera itself. And, but this is all the way out. And there is no more, you know, it's like, oh, I can do it here. So you can see me do it in and out, all the way out. So I'm not hiding anything. This is good all the way to the edges. And go back to me. And it's centered. That's the key thing. You don't have to worry about, like, if you have a clip-on lens, it gets bumped or maybe it sags over time. There's wind, there's vibration. Um, this is the lens is screwed into the holder, which is screwed into the case, which is firm on the camera. It doesn't move. It's, it's on there. Um, kind of waggling a little bit because, eh, it's, you know, not a steel case. You would not want a steel case because then it's covering all of the antennas on the phone. So this works for RF clearly because I'm using it right now. The hub is way over there. And, you know, just to reiterate, it's available on multiple phones. So it's doesn't, I'm not talking just about the SE. I'm talking about, let's see if I can, the, the six, the six plus, the seven, seven plus, eight, eight plus. Looks like redundant down there. And it's available on some galaxies, which doesn't apply to us because we use the iOS devices. But the fact that it's not this big case, the fact that it has an adapter that uses the screw-in lenses that are standard and easily found on iographer and other you know phone holder devices 37 millimeter i think is the diameter and that's the key thing this little adapter and this svelte little case so i'm not you know with a big case and then if i've got multiple cameras I am not worried about like, oh, I've got this case and this case and this case and this case and this case. No, I've got, a, I can put four phones in one little bag all in the cases and adapt to lenses how I see fit. Also works really well if you want to do a gimbal. If you want to have a phone in a gimbal, now yes, you have to work out the balance with the glass lens on there. Um, some people, you put a weight over here and then it's more balanced where the gimbal holds it. Uh, or, you know, if you could do it upright or something, you could scoot the gimbal over and hold it here. But this is a great tool that is, as I said, $16. Now I'm going to have a link in the description to the eBay listing that I'm showing you. You can type it in if you want. Uh, click the link. I'm trying an affiliate thing here, just being upfront. Try an affiliate thing. You click the link. I don't know. I make five cents, whatever. <laughs> make a percentage on $16. So this is the first time I'm trying that. So I have no idea what the uh, percentage is. Comes with a lens cap too. Um, does not, oh, it does come with a rear lens cap on the lens. So when you take it off, you could either leave this on, which I've done because that sort of protects it from dust and dirt or, or whatever. But if you want to leave this on the camera, you can, it's under the mic. So excuse me if I make a bunch of noise. Uh, comes with a rear cap as well. So, um, I will admit I like these things. I have three. I bought a couple more because I had used this critical little adapter and I had adhered this to something else so that I could use the adapter. I could use the adapted lenses on my Galileo motors. I stuck these to the Galileo motor adapters. So I lost these and I had to buy the whole kit to get this back. So that's really cool. And I can get this for a six because I have one iPhone six. So it'd be cool. It's a little bit of protection for the phone and it also allows me to use two X lenses, 0.75 lens, wide angle lenses, telephoto lenses, two, three, 12 X, whatever. Um, it's, cool little thing comes with little rag but anyway in young whatever wedding you know 
macro or wide angle. But this is what you get. You get it in an e-packet from China. It's going to take two weeks, give or take. But I, this is my fourth, fifth, and sixth case. I am very hot on these cases. Nobody's paying me to do this. I paid for the cases. And I'm just really happy. And I think this is a great solution for everyone who wants to add um, lenses to their phones affordably and if you want to do it without a whole lot of bulk for the case for your external lenses and do it in a way that they don't shake they don't come off so once again this is the view from whoop, do that again this is the view from the adapted phone Whoa. and this is the view of the adapted phone so it's right on there it's not very big at all if that's the case plenty of room to put your company logo on the back of the case that's cool and like I said I just think these are a great little tool want to get that out there so once again my name is Anthony Brokus from Aiba Communications hoping this helps you uh, step up your streaming game. Thanks for watching.